Big night in the Greater Miami Conference as we turn to high school football and the GCL teams. All beat up from playing one another the last few weeks. Either got the night off or stepped out of conference like Elder. Lost at home last week to Moeller. Tonight, they got Winton Woods. Elder playing in this non-league game. Panthers already down 7-0, and it's about to get worse. Jalen Lumpkin up the gut into the end zone. How about a 14-0 Winton Woods lead, or was it? Called back for too many men on the field. Didn't matter. Very next play, Kenny Mayberry takes care of it. Beautiful ball for Zachary Gazalius, and it's 14-0 Winton. Elder with a chance to get on the board now. They actually had four chances from the seven. This one on fourth and goal. Could not get in. 14-0 Winton Woods. That's your final. How about that for an upset tonight out of conference? Let's step back into conference. Cole Rain, Lakota East, as the Cardinals look to take control of the greater Miami. Thunderhawks on the move, and now they're not. Loose football recovered by the Cardinals. Cole Rain catched that in for a 20 to nothing lead. Cole Rain's defense causing all kinds of trouble. Caleb Lepper on the pitch gets roughed up. Ball is loose again, and it's recovered by Cole Rain's Amir Wright. Cole Rain, did I mention their defense? Just lay in the wood. Boom! Another forced fumble, and this one is scooped and scored by Ryan Leahy. 27 up in Colerain. They take the four touchdown lead, and they go on to win 34 0 over the Cover East. Second place, Mason in action in the Greater Miami against Oak Hills. This might be the play of the night in the Tri State, or at the very least, the run of the night. Bryson White, look at the speed, follows his blockers. Gone. Comets take the early lead and they started pouring it on. Oak Hills didn't quit though, even in the face of a blowout. Jacob Wojcicki finds Jason Smith. Islanders finally get into the end zone, a 42-10 score at that point. Oak Hills would add another late score, but it is not nearly enough. Mason keeps pace in the greater Miami with the big win over Oak Hills tonight. Six and one Kings hosting Withrow in the Eastern Cincinnati Conference. How's this for a nice little run? Avery Kohler. Shifted, then lowering the boom here. A little extra yardage, down to the two. This time, the quarterback keeps it. Tyler Neck gets across. Kings with the touchdown. Neck now goes to the air. He's going to set up the wide receiver screen with Evan Guckenberger. And Evan turns it on. Goodbye, Kings wins big. 30-13, to 13, the final score tonight over Withrow. Norwood and Williams. Norwood back deep on the kick return. This is Olajuwon Wellington. This is like a dream. Olajuwon takes it all the way. Norwood trying to hang around. Williamsburg was all over it tonight though. Spencer Clowry takes it in and Norwood loses big at home. 54-23 the final to Williamsburg. This score and all of our scores online powered by Sportsman. Some good and meaningful football in Kentucky tonight as well. And that's where we're headed next on the final. All right, back to the high school grid. Couple of 6-1 teams in Northern Kentucky meeting tonight. Third ranked Ryle, fifth ranked Connor. So let's get after it because this is good stuff. At Ryle High School, Connor on the move. And Kyle Padgett, the quarterback, going to keep it. Bounce off the left side of the line and he is gone for the touchdown. Early touchdown for fifth ranked Connor. They're back at it here trying to make a two score game. Padgett hits Joseph Warwick right down the seam. And it's Connor in the end zone once again. 14-0 their lead. Ryle gets it back. Colin England, short yardage. Takes it across, 14-7 game. And Ryle would rally from there. They end up winning big. 46-34 for the third-ranked team in Northern Kentucky. Ludlow and fourth-ranked Beachwood in Northern Kentucky. They're 6-1 coming in. Beachwood with a slim 49-6 margin. And adding more. And there goes Aiden Justice. Nice cut at the beginning, and he is gone. See it. Didn't get a hand on him until it was way too late. 56-3, Tigers rolling at that point. And they weren't done either, adding more to it. Beachwood, another short touchdown run, making it 63-3. All Beachwood as the fourth-ranked Tigers steamroll Ludlow tonight. 62-6 the final. That score and all of them on Local12.com, powered by ScoreStream.